Good morning, TCC, and all of you starving people out there. Thanks for joining in. You know, we are approaching the halfway point of our 21 day fast. This is now day number 10. And uh, we are now starting our food fast part of really what our food fast is the initial um, idea of fasting a meal, one meal a day. Now, please be reminded that this is also a link to yesterday in that it gives you more time to seek Jesus, gives you more time to seek the Lord. It takes your focus off of food preparation, even some grocery shopping maybe, but also just the consumption of food and the aftermath of that, that now we are saying, I need a little bit more time in my schedule because what I have been asked to do is taking up part of my lifestyle. Oh no! Where you've come is so wonderful, uh, Country Church. Think about it for a moment. We're setting aside time for Jesus. We're being more careful about our food consumption. We're talking about, we're, we're eliminating sugars and junk food. That's a big one, you guys, it really is. And then we are learning to be thankful. Thankful to God, thankful for others in our life. Then it's the Word of God. We are learning to collect scriptures. We are learning to write a decree. Then we are speaking it. We are living it. It is becoming a part of who we are. Yes, this takes time. So now we're budgeting a little bit more time. We are fasting one meal. In your text, Jess goes um, really into detail and talks about the elimination of toxins and the uh, health benefits to um, um, eating certain kinds of food and eating healthy and even cutting down on our calories. It is so important to understand that we are spirit, soul, and body. We are a trichotomy. All three areas need to be involved in our fast. And so today we're adding one more thing by eliminating a little bit of food. It's also setting the stage for more healthy eating and a better overall diet when we jump into our Daniel fast tomorrow. And so for those of you who are just starting the food fast, and I know some of you have already started that and some of you have been Daniel fasting all along, you know, this is a great opportunity to say, my whole being is now going to have a part in our fast. So day 10 is a wonderful day to begin. Don't forget your journals. Don't forget to have your Bibles wide open. Don't forget that we are getting closer to Jesus. Thank you, and we will see you tomorrow.